Hey, it's Royce Unchained, presented by Josh Arnold, investment consultant, Mr. Money Talk. And it's pretty rare that the week leading up to the All-Star break in baseball that we have just as many things to talk about as you can possibly imagine. We got the Twins, Pat. We have Justin Jefferson as part of a Netflix series. I'm sure you binged all eight episodes last uh, night. And I, have, I have not, but I would imagine in Minnesota, the ratings are off the charts uh, uh, for uh, who, who are Justin's co-stars. There, by the way. Uh, so, the but we, we also have Anthony Edwards in the Olympics, and we yeah. had an exhibition game last night. He was the leading scorer. But we have uh, in receiver, it's Justin Jefferson, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, Amon Ross St. Brown, and uh, Devontae Devonta. Adams is okay. the other one. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, yeah, I might have to watch an episode. That interests me more than watching Kirk Cousins. So, on the, I think you'll uh, enjoy George Kittle. I'm two episodes in. Judd yeah, watched the whole thing. George Kittle is going to be a media star. Amon Ra St. Brown is is the hidden star because his dad is crazy. Oh, really? Two-time Mr. Olympia or Mr. Universe. Mr. Universe, and he oh, is... Oh, really? There's he, two of them in the league, right? Aren't there two of yes. them? Yes. Equinemius. Equinemius, yeah. you get the sense. See, I don't know how much he likes, likes the sport. Amon's absolutely de uh, dedicated. But here's the thing. Mom is German, so the kids speak German, French, in addition to English. And what what is with the names? Who came up with these stupid Dad. names? Nam? Dad yeah. did. The name is Brown. He decided that that was boring <laughs> on the back of a jersey when these kids were born. Like, like oh, these sorry. guys are protégés. He decided the name was boring, and so he came up with, like, two the options, Saint. and one was St. Brown. <laughs> oh, man. I love those kind of deeply involved, crazed fathers. You can't beat it. You know, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yes. Uh, so, oh, well, maybe I'll have to watch some of it then. So, they is the old man on quite a bit then? Oh yeah, the old okay. man becomes a star. Okay, that's see. I think when they go searching these stories out, they don't know what characters they're going to run across. You know, is uh, probably part of the interest of it. Plus, you, there's what six of them instead of three quarterbacks or something. There's five, there's five, five or yeah, five, five or six. There were four okay. quarterbacks, right? right? Three quarterbacks. Three yeah, quarterbacks. well, two, two, and a, dropped, two and a half one because Marcus Mariota. Dropped, Mariota. <laughs> one of them dropped out halfway through it, so it turned <laughs> yeah. out being all. Crazy. Brittany Brittany Mahomes wound up being like the third quarterback of the of the mm -hmm. quarterback series, I think. And Pat Senior. And Patrick Mahomes Senior was in there. Yeah. yeah. Or Pat Senior, man, mm, unbelievable. So what else we got? We got that, and we we got Anthony got... Anthony Edwards. Anthony he you know Andrew. he called his shot earlier this week and said I'm the number one option on a team of all time greats. And then he How led. How bad did we beat Canada? I didn't even look. Uh, 86, right? 70. No, they got they were down big early with the really? first unit, and then the second unit comes in with Anthony Edwards, and Anthony Edwards writes the. Sort of calms the the waters, and then they wow. wind up winning by like fifteen points or something. Hard to believe he could calm anything, but uh, that's uh, that's good. Then, uh, you know what? I don't think they're a cinch. They got too many old guys. They got LeBron past his prime, Steph Durant. past his prime, Durant way past his prime. But you now tied yourself to having to play these. You know the the old guy lineup to start all games, right? You can't come up to LeBron and Steph and Kevin and say, "Yeah, we're bringing you off the bench, fellas." So, uh, yeah. uh, although you can substitute as quick as you want to, and uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't. I forgot that game was going on. I was looking for something to watch. I should have been. I should have run across that. So uh, I didn't. Well, I, I think like to your point about. You know, there's there's this weird. You've got the gatekeeper old guard, but then yes. you've got all these young players, and then you're trying to sprinkle in role players. So the the big controversy from yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Kawhi Leonard classic is nursing an injury yeah. yes. and not a full participant. So Steve Kerr and company and Grant Hill sent him home and said, "Well, yes. you're off the team because we we literally have Olympic games starting in two weeks." So they had an open spot. And instead yeah. of maybe grabbing Jalen Brown, who is the NBA Finals MVP, they took his teammate Derek White and yeah, put him on the that? roster. I, 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 I couldn't figure that out. What was that about? They just so Jalen Jalen Brown tweeted at Nike and said something like, "Is this how we're doing it now?" With like the uh, like the puzzled sort of inspector emoji, and he so he's accusing. I'm just the messenger here. Yeah. He's accusing USA Basketball and Nike 
He's not a Nike guy. I don't oh, know what I, I know see. if he's like Adidas of of basically blocking out non Nike guys like him. Yeah, wow, that's well. Remember when way back with the Deep Dream in '92, they had uh, they were what was it? They who was the sponsor? But they were covering up the Nike. Weren't the Nike Reebok? Guys like, Reebok. Reebok was the sponsor, Reebok and like was Jordan sponsor, was doing everything he could to get the Nike stuff out. The Nike guys were like covering up the Reebok <laughs> logos and stuff like that. Yeah. Now they were so much better than everybody; it didn't make any difference then. But uh, yeah, I saw Derek White, and I said, "What the hell? There's got to be. I mean, good, nice player, but there's got to be 15 guys." But I, in on the other hand, I give them great credit. Credit to tell Kawhi, we're not taking your BS anymore. He's you know, load, load managing during the Olympic yeah, practice run up. Uh, I mean, <laughs> man alive. What a what a guy. I mean, what a dog. He, you know, he played it, he refused to play his last year in San Antonio and ended up basically getting traded. Then he goes to Toronto and wins the title and then he stops playing again. Totally unreliable and doesn't like Talk about a guy who doesn't like basketball and every how how often has he been called out on it? Not this is maybe the first time, right? Like like held accountable and sent yeah, home. I mean, yes. This is, this is I mean it they listen, this is not they're not publicly calling him out and saying we can't trust him, but that's what they're saying by yeah. sending him home that uh he, he thinks that uh he thinks that he can just dog it here and then we'll let him be get his gold medal and i, I everyone's afraid of him, him. everyone's yes, afraid to to push him you know because mm -hmm. he's so damn good you know and when he plays but he doesn't play and uh you know the uh you know pop traded him because he wouldn't play right that's yes. why i traded him out of san antonio and uh, yeah that's 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 a good move i uh, congratulations to them to get rid of him but Derek quiet is like what 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 he's he's probably got to be what Top forty in the league, maybe. He maybe he is. I, it's funny because if you're taking the they have twelve was it twelve roster spots. So if you're taking yeah. the twelve best players in the world, he's not one of them. He's definitely like top thirty, top forty. But if you're if you're looking for the best team and you need a couple guys that really their egos aren't going to flare up if yeah. they don't get into a game, you know, he's kind of the perfect glue guy. So I get it. But Jalen Brown, this cool. dude's been NBA Finals MVP. You know, he's just constantly left out of all the accolades and the Olympic team, poor guy. You, I mean, he'll be you fine. Go back but... and, you go back and some of the guys who work for the Boston Globe and the Herald there, and you can find columns from three years ago, I'm sure, saying this will never work. You got two guys. They're Tatum trying to trade them all. Tatum yep. and Brown that are the same player. You got to yep. make your choice. You can't win with two guys like that. And uh, and now they want a title. So. Yeah, and and he was the best player. Uh, I mean, Tatum's fantastic, and he was even better in the in the finals. But I I, I didn't realize it was all about shoes, but it is, you know. So. Grant Hill is saying no. This is we Grant we only have twelve lying. rosters. Grant spots. Hill's, Grant Hill's <laughs> from Duke. He's a liar. Okay. Why, that's it. Here's <laughs> my question though. Why why do the old guys want to continue to go? They've been there. Well, and Steph take, Steph has never gone. Steph you know? hasn't, but but James has. Take your break, man. Yes. Like you're gonna yeah, start go. training. Well, but Le but you know LeBron, it. but LeBron, like this is the this is it for LeBron. You know, yeah. he's made it this far without ever taking a break. And yes, you know, he yeah, wants yeah, one last you know, run. LeBron could be home. Uh you know, you know, the one thing that surprises me, the guy that they added to the team wasn't Bronny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would have shown that would have been great. <laughs> we have decided that we're sending Kawhi home and we got Bronny because he <laughs> deserves this. He has worked hard. He this, you know. Yeah, you never mind. The work he put in. Don't look at the box scores, okay? Just <laughs> the eye test. The Lakers are are gonna be great fun though. That's gonna be such oh, a God. gone show. God, that, like how they with that ego media. Oh, Reddick, yeah. JJ Reddick with him. They all the crap he's going to be trying to shovel out is going to be on yes. You know what? There's a half a possibility he won't make it through the season too. You know, if he's you know that they they'll just fire him and pay him off and bring in somebody else. But anyway, that's great. That is a great controversy to say the least. He did. I don't know if you guys saw this with so Redick. You know, he spent the last three years building up this huge his his own YouTube channel and podcast feeds, yeah, and he right. obviously partnered with LeBron on a podcast. 
but he's he's built up one of the larger basketball digital media platforms and he knows how sensitive the whole people are accusing LeBron and JJ of colluding to get this job and now so now he's trying to make it clear I have nothing to do with my media company that I launched it will continue forward with these people that yes, are running it yes, I have yes. nothing to do with it though it's I like cannot, well I think he still yeah, yeah. owns it I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. yeah but he, well, he doesn't have anything to do with it okay now we, we got that straightened out so I uh, I would like to uh, say this uh, and many years of writing sports columns Whenever you write something and the opposite happens, people can't wait to call you out and uh, to call you a jinx. So now I write a column about Buxton's incredible return of his speed, right? Wednesday morning. They win, they, they win a game because of an incredible display of Buxton's uh, speed. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Where's the, where's the applause? I'm waiting. Come I on, thought people. of you immediately. I saw him <laughs> take second base, and yeah. I thought, you know what? Royce, he just wrote that. It's brilliant. And not only did you write that, but you found the bullpen uh, coach for the Twins yes. to build the column off of. Colby Suggs was on the – I was looking at the – my first time I saw him was with the Glendale Desert Dogs wow. in uh, Arizona in 2013. What a team! Sager, Simeon, uh, Rosario, uh, Kepler, Buxton, uh, Barnhart was the catcher. They had a, you know, a bunch of pitchers, and uh, it was uh, it was a it was a juggernaut uh, team. And uh, Col and there stuck in, there was Colby Suggs, and I said I think I'll get a hold of him, but he was a second rounder who never. Uh, Never, uh, never made her. But he was a second round draft choice that same year that they put him in the uh, in the uh, on, on the fall league team. I think the Phil, don't you? The fall league was a bigger deal. Uh, what it, it seems like it's like been phased out as in an important look view of prospects the last I, three, four, or five years. You don't hear much about it anymore. Maybe this is just the you know, the, the worldview of having covered baseball for a while too. But I thought maybe 10 years ago, the fall league was bigger relative to the audience and baseball mm -hmm. than summer league was to basketball 10 years ago. Yes. Yes. Now it's now. And, you know, I think a lot of it is these guys don't want to show off their best prospects. They're all uh, secretive uh, people and they, they're afraid that, uh, you know, if they show somebody off there and they don't have them on the, and they should have them on the rule five and they don't, somebody's going to take them or something, you know, although it's very, very few of them have had four years experience when they're down there playing. Our game shown. I, once I don't in know. a while MLB will show one at there you go. 30 at night. Yes. Yeah. Talk about an outfit that does not know how to pronounce it. There was not a national TV baseball game on the 4th of July. It's not an exaggeration. The it's the dumbest leadership group of oh, any is. of the major professional sports. It, they it have is. no idea how to put their product out in a mm -hmm. in a marketable form. You're and right. Then, it's there's nothing happening on the Fourth of July except for hot dog eating contests, yeah, and you can't right. put a couple of baseball <laughs> games out have front a and ball center. Game on, and uh, ESPN's bailing supposedly. Yeah, they're 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 gonna they're done with them. They'd rather put wow. on soccer games from the Premier League than uh, than there, you know, or Copa America or some damn thing. But uh, yeah, they're uh, I don't know the one you know they we all declared them geniuses when they went to the speed of the pitch clock because that has saved the game to some degree. You know, it's made it much more watchable. But that's the only thing they've ever done right in the last, what, 20 years? You know? It's, well, and uh, the crazy the crazy th thing is the pitch clock and all of those rules should have made them more attractive to television. Mm -hmm. yes. And they haven't capitalized on one bit. No, no. They, you sped they, up the game, no. you created action, and yet you haven't done a thing with it. It it is it is a remarkable from from the local stuff up to the national stuff. It's a remarkable mishandling of the they, media they, approach completely. They should have some label from the end of the NBA and NHL finals to the start of training camps. They should they should determine this. Watch the 
The mid season, there's something, you know, some big. How about a mid season tournament? tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah mid season <laughs> tournament. That's right. The uh, Commissioner's <laughs> Cup. We could have the Commissioner's the Cup. The Manfred Cup. He'd name it yes. after himself. Screw yes. the Commissioner's they Cup. They should have something beyond it. And then the other thing is the Midsummer Classic. Okay, that's fine. The All Star Game. But you can't take five days off in July, yep. the middle of July. For, you know, the, the, you give the union another day off. You got to play the All Star game and come back for a three game weekend series starting Friday some yeah. place. Yeah. You know, you can't give them that. And you got to you got to carry over on that. And uh, are we you know, married they, to? I, I know the answer for like what owners would say, but you know, October has been this sacred, hallowed ground for a hundred plus years, right? Meanwhile, the NFL back. You know, 1950s before the Super Bowl, their championship was in December, and yes. then it been, then it got into January, and then late January, and, and now now, now they, they keep late, pushing it into February. It's going to be late February before it's over. It's gonna add be, the 18th game, a second bye weeks. week. Yeah, yeah, get a holiday gonna, on Monday. They're, they're right. going to go back. Uh, they're going to go back to uh, you know when is President's Day? It'll be uh, that no that third week, early. right? Yeah be like february 22nd or something like that will be the uh game yeah they just i don't know they it's, it's like they throw their hands up and say we have no solutions here we do we don't know how to get the game on tv and even if we do we don't put it on tv no national game on july 4th which was like the day and teams started taking the july 4th off you know, there'd be about three, six teams that didn't play on the holidays. Now, talk about conceding, you know, Memorial Day and July 4th. And that was it. Those were the how That was the the Memorial Day to Labor Day. That was baseball season. And yeah, yeah I don't know. They're idiots. Uh, but uh, the, I, the, the fact that you can't. I've said this 20 times. I'll say it again. You saw this TV crisis coming. You cannot tie you when everybody when cable started losing eight percent of its audience every year five, six, seven years ago, and you sat around and hoped that the people would stop going to streaming. They weren't no. going to stop. When and hockey nothing is, about it. When when hockey is more proactive than you yes. are, you're oh. in trouble. Oh, way more. And they also can't, you know, they can't figure out how to get out of bad markets. Hockey is, you know, hockey is, hockey's in Vegas and Seattle and uh, the NBA is in Memphis and Oklahoma City. So, uh, you know, hockey's ahead of a lot of people here. So Yeah. And the, the, the other thing too is like with, with the streaming, the direct to consumer, like the Rockies have the Diamondbacks, the, the twins may at some point here. Yeah, you can just pay twenty bucks a month if you're a fan. Yeah. And that would be that'd be the easiest way to do it. But now the problem, because they didn't start allowing this until the last couple of years with certain teams or pursuing it. If you do the math, so the twins are getting like fifty million dollars, fifty, fifty five million dollars a year, just a check from Bally Sports North, yes. Diamond Sports Group. So, okay, that check, correct me if I'm wrong, is not going to exist at all in any form going forward, right? Like, yes, no one is. There's no diamond sports group coming in. There's no NBC sports regional coming right. in to write you that check. So you're starting from zero on the math and you're going to need it. Let's say it's a hundred bucks a year direct to consumer. I just want to pay to watch twins games. You're going to need 500,000 people to pay a hundred bucks a year to make the math work, to get back to $50 million. And you're starting from, from zero. So it's going to, it's going to take multiple years. Spending. Yeah. You were saying that Dallas and Florida are going to go to the just ad supported free hockey. streaming. How do they, when, when you get out there, how do you end up sharing the money then? I wonder. I mean, if it's going to be ad supported, is, is it you buying the time almost? Is that what, what, what is well, going on here? Well, I like mean, the stars. How much, how much does the carrier end up getting to keep out of the ad support, the ads that you get is the big question. The stars that, the carrier, so they're they're in bed with the streaming service, Pat. So so there's it's a, no. You, it's a unique streaming service, huh? Yeah. Okay. So there's no. Right. So there's no carrier per se. Okay. But like so it's just, in other words, but you're providing whatever you. If I'm on YouTube or if I'm on Hulu or if I'm on those, you they can carry it for free, basically. 
Right. That I don't know. And I get I could, the ads, you know what I'm saying? Because because it's they're going to be on smart TVs, so that will like that will be an app. So oh, I think it's okay. going. To, I think it's going to go. It'll be a separate a separate app. It won't be yep. YouTube TV. Or correct. For, okay. Correct. Okay. So there's no. So the, oh, I see. And they'll be competing. No and then then they'll be competing with the streaming services, basically. Then uh-huh. right. But so when we end up with the new Victory Sports, which is where we're headed, right? It's uh, we're going to have this three teams in bed with each other and uh, trying to figure out some solution here. So if you just go on there and there's the Victory Sports app, if you're a streamer, right? And then right. whoever's advertising, mm-hmm. they got to divvy up that money. There's, there's not going to be $150 million worth of advertising there. That's for sure. Not right away. No. But plus the Wolves are probably feeling a little haughty now, now and don't want to. Hey, Wolves, watch your arrogant level here just because you got a good team right now. You're, uh, yeah, you're still, uh, you still got the capability of be, be returning to the wolves any day now. So uh, let's uh, keep stacking bricks. Just head yeah. down brick yeah, by brick yeah. here, wolves. Yes, <laughs> but uh, you know the three of them are. I mean, it's the the money. Meanwhile, the uh, but the meanwhile the new NBA contract is. Uh, you see Correct. that seven yeah. something billion, and that's the something? difference. That's wild. Yeah, the, the and there's something like the M- NBA games. You know, not that those ratings are anywhere near. NFL, but they're way above what baseball brings in for a national audience. That's the problem with baseball is there. It's not like you can put a Sunday night baseball game on, you know, Pedro versus uh, the Yankees in 1998 yeah. and, and yeah. do a five share like you could. No, no you one can't. watch. No one watches those games on ESPN. And, so, and, and, but you still have to somehow have them out there for people. Yes. I mean, it's not the trouble with the big advantage with basketball is, is you can watch it in snippets. You don't have, and then you can, you know, turn on the fourth quarter. That's, uh, you don't have to, baseball, you might, you're not turning on the last three innings because it might already be over. You know, it might, somebody might have eight runs or something. You Baseball, you almost have to consume it as a whole. And yeah. uh, Well, when you, just, when you tune into a baseball game for 20 minutes, let's say, there is yes. no guarantee that you're going to see Aaron Judge in those 20 minutes. No, that's but 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 when I tune into a basketball game, yes. I'm going to see Steph Curry if I watch for 20 minutes, right? That's what I say. That's the big advantage is there's five of them, you know, uh, uh, Aaron Judge in a baseball game. If you're lucky, uh, 30s. Let's say the Yankees. I'll, let's say the Yankees bat around four times. He'll end up getting. Uh, one ninth, you'll get eleven percent of the at bats. You'll get this when you turn yeah. on TV. He's, Pat, he's there. He's there eleven percent of the time. LeBron's there seventy percent of the but time. But Pat, your your point at the outset is exactly right. Baseball hasn't even thought of how to combat the problem. No. So so like we're t- talking about okay, what's the what's the incentive? I'm talking about is have you ever thought about okay, we got a problem here. How do do we fix it? I think that TNT, I think at the end end of the day, Turner is going to get back involved because Silver is going to take a portion of each team's old RSN games and split them off as a national package to get another package. And and because of the fact that these, these RSNs are dying, it's going to allow a national audience to see them. Things like that. Like Hmm. Like basketball is always thinking about, okay, what can we do, right? Yeah. Manfred, no, they don't think about this. They're like, "What are we gonna do? Why can can we?" They they are so afraid of now trying to wrap the rights nationally. So so let's say because the Twi- because the Yankees and Red Sox and Dodgers won't do that. Well, okay, then sit down and figure it out. They never figure anything out. That's my problem. But they, but the asset that baseball had in the cable era was inventory. Yep. Endless Tonnage. inventory, correct? You know, 162, and uh, now now inventory isn't a good thing with the youth of America. They don't care, you know about you know. I, I got all kinds of little league coaches and high school coaches telling me they like to play baseball. Still, they still got plenty of kids playing baseball. Not ever watch any of it unless somebody, unless one of their buddies tells them about some crazy play. And then they'll watch that 50 times. So uh, I don't know. Focus on the playoffs and get done by November 1st. Mm-hmm. That's your key. People will watch that. 
Focus yes. on your playoffs and shorten up the regular season. We don't need to play 162 anymore. No, we don't. We don't. But, uh, you know, you can't convince these. They still though. think gouging the season ticket holders is the way to success in a lot of places. But they Well, and I think them. if my math is right, I was Judd and I are going to do some just sort of state of the TV situation on the twin show today. I'm pretty sure with most teams like the twins, for instance, I think the game day operations. So ticket sales, let just ticket sales and like hot dogs and beer and stuff makes up 40 to 50% of the twins revenue, if not more. And it's probably the same for all the other teams too. So when you talk about taking games away, I get it. Like it's best for the product and for people's attention spans for it to be a 100 game schedule or a 120 game schedule and just get yeah. out. But well, they're never going to do that. Never, yeah. never going to do that, but they could, you know, they, we, we don't need, uh, you don't need 162, but we've had it now for a thousand years, but I, yeah. I don't, the other thing is don't charge people 14 bucks for a beer. Take your concession rights back from these banded outside companies and, uh, have reasonable prices for your concessions. I keep, I keep telling them, the best promotion you could do is announce in December if you know that the beer is being reduced 25% next year. We're going to we're going to we're going going back to the $8 beer for uh you know the good old Minnesota brews and $10 for the Surleys. And uh this this $14, $15 for a beer Yep. The youth of America is going to, they're going to show up for a game. And they did last October. Once in a while, you'd see the youth that lives downtown, but they, they don't have endless money. They're not going to go to 50 games and put 150 bucks a night on their credit cards. They're not going to do that. You got to do something. You got to make it more reasonable to go to a ball game. I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think we just solved a lot of baseball's problems right there. Hopefully, Manfred and some of the owners are listening to Royce Unchained today. Yes. Good stuff here. Uh, meanwhile, that was a uh, that was a nice win in the second game because losing two to those mutts would have been uh, would have been, uh, <laughs> yeah. been a very disgrace. Would, would have taken a lot of steam off the thing, and uh, that you know squeezing out a win is uh, was it was a good idea finally. How about Brooks Lee hitting a home run off his uh, college roommate? Uh, yeah. His best, his best buddy. That's that's pretty good. That's it's a cool story. Good coincidence, yes. All right, Jen. All right, Pat. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Sorry, yep. Goodbye. There he is. Roycey Unchained on Score North.